Good morning, everyone. It's Christian. Hello. We have exciting news to talk about today. TGS is going on. And from TGS, Konami, of all people, is giving us the exciting news today. So via Video Games Chronicle, it is being reported in conjunction with TGS and everything that's going on, Konami is looking to bring back their IP. They're looking to re-enter the premier console gaming space, as they've described it. And that begins with a Castlevania reinvention. We're not here to talk about Castlevania today. I respect the series from a distance. I have not played many of the games. I love a lot of what those games exist as. I have some thoughts on what the reinvention should be from software. But we're here today to talk about Metal Gear Solid because I love Metal Gear Solid. I'm a huge fan of the franchise. I love Kojima, love the games. I replayed them this year. I hosted a podcast called The Long Play Club. It's here on Joy Clicks. We ran through all of them. That was like my second or third time playing through the franchise. And uh, I greatly love these games. So I'm stoked to hear that, again, via Video Games Chronicle, Metal Gear Solid is coming back through remasters and re-releases for modern consoles. When this is going to be, I don't know, but we have a 25th anniversary coming up in 2023, which remember that, we'll get to that again. But the other rumor is that Konami has worked with an external partner a Chinese studio has been contracted to remake Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And as the morning has gone on, we have learned more and more about this project. Specifically, the remake is in early development. Right now, it is coming from Virtuous, who has worked on other remasters and ports like Dark Souls Remastered, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age, the 10 and 10 2 HD Collection as well as working on some major AAA games like Jedi Fallen Order, Horizon Zero Dawn, and a host of others. That's great. I think that's good news. I believe in Virtuous. Um, I know the popular thing this entire year. Sony PlayStation fans have been wilding out, expecting a Blue Point remake of Metal Gear Solid, which I was an outlier of. I don't want a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1. It's very easy to mess that game up they did that game that exists metal gear solid twin snakes exists but blue point started as a, a port studio they started as hd remasters they're the ones who did the metal gear solid legacy collection so virtuous transitioning from ports remasters support kind of like blue point was for a long time to remakes the way blue point did with shadow of the colossus got complete faith in this studio right now the interesting details that have come out just a few minutes ago, because this is the second time I've recorded this video, Eurogamer is corroborating all these reports, and they've heard that the Snake Eater remake is being remade in Fox Engine, which is amazing news. That's fantastic. Fox Engine, I did not think was going to be a given for this, because Konami used the Fox Engine for uh, Pro Evolution Soccer, but a few years ago, they ditched that. So I thought Fox Engine was tossed away in a trash can somewhere. But hearing that Eurogamer is saying they have heard, their sources are telling them that the remake does exist. Yes, it's virtuous. And they're using the Fox Engine is wonderful news. That's fantastic. And apparently also it's using elements from the Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachinko Machine, which if you're unfamiliar, I should have grabbed some footage for it. But look it up after you watch this video. The cutscenes that were remade for the slot machine in Konami's casinos, beautiful. It's made in Fox Engine. It's cutscenes of like Snake and Boss. It's it's beautiful. So the fact that they're sort of taking that visual approach to this is a wonderful news. But the reason I think Snake Eater makes the most sense is, like I said, we have Metal Gear Solid One. We messed it up with, with Twin Snakes. In the year 2021, as someone who's replayed Snake Eater recently, I don't, like, there's a lot of rose-tinted glasses looking at this game. It's not the game that I feel like people act it is. It feels archaic in some ways, and I think a remake can only help it. Story-wise, there's some things I don't love about the characters and the way they get treated, but I don't imagine that would be touched much. When it comes to the game, though, uh, there's no crouch walking, and that kind of sucks because... I knew when I was playing release order this year, when I was on the sticks for Snake Eater, I was like, well, the next game for Big Boss is Peace Walker. I can crouch walk in that. I 
can crouch walk in five, I can crouch walk in four even. So I think that is kind of a hold up for me because Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2 exist as this really solid top-down stealth action game. And uh, I feel like a remake would shift genres drastically. Snake Eater is that first stab at that third-person stealth action survival kind of. We talked about that a lot in the podcast. It kind of feels like the originator of a lot of these survival games. And it doesn't feel the way you want it to feel, I think. There could be more fluidity to the movement in Snake Eater, and a remake will only help with that. Get it closer to 5. If it's Fox Engine, now my ambition is it is basically if Metal Gear Solid 5 was just the story and locations of Snake Eater. That's my expectation out of this now. Um, And I think that would only help it. That was my other disappointment in Snake Eater. The jungle environments of Russia feel very um, claustrophobic. And it's the wilderness, you know, like there's a time and place in Metal Gear, and it's my favorite time and place, for industrial hallways. That's my preferred Metal Gear game. But Snake Eater does have that balance of the nature and everything. So if you're bringing in the Fox engine, blow up the environments, that is my hope there. So when it comes to what would actually be being remade in Snake Eater, I really think you have a harder time messing it up. It's a pretty straightforward story. It's basically a James Bond Cold War era, very grounded, not the sci-fi anime elements that come into play with Metal Gear and Metal Gear, sorry, Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4. But I, I think it would be a lot easier to make this game, make it be celebrated by fans and have it live up to what an expectation should be, even without Kojima. Is it the original Metal Gear project I wanted to see for a comeback? No. My dream was Bluepoint or somebody else, Virtuous even, making a modern day remake of Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake, the MSX games, because those have little to no story in them. They do not have the love from the fans the way that any of the Solid games do, especially Snake Eater. So I feel like any risk of screwing up the tone would be completely gone there, and you can just have a lot of room to flex as a studio of creatives because Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 are just basically the bones of of a story in a game like you can go off and I hope we still get that project at some point if this is the return of Metal Gear Solid hopefully that's a project we get down the line you know complete the whole circle of the solid story with one to five but I think this is good news I feel nothing but positivity about the reports coming out of this I think this is going to be excellent. I think it's going to make that game probably the game people act like it is and earn some of that limelight and respect once again. Because Snake Eater has been outdone since it came out, I think. Uh, I didn't grow up with the franchise, like I said. I played them, with the exception of Metal Gear Solid 1, I played that when I was younger. I played the franchise for the first time in completion leading up to 5, and I played it again and then this year. So... I think this is just good news. I know it's a holy game for some people. People act like it's the holy grail of gaming. So for those that are huge, massive fans of Snake Eater, let me know what you think of this. Are you worried? I understand if you would be. I feel that way about Metal Gear Solid 1, but I I think it's possible, even without Kojima. I think from what we've heard so far, I have a lot of faith and excitement. This is like one of my most anticipated projects right now. So... We will cover this more in the future. I will talk about this more in the future. But if you're curious more of my in-depth thoughts on Snake Eater, like I said, I'll link the specifically the Snake Eater portion of the Long Play Club Metal Gear podcast series uh, in the description, and I'll probably tag it too up there. But the one thing you shouldn't do, though, don't don't remake the song. That song is perfect the way it is. Don't re-record it. You could remaster it if you wanted to, but don't re-record it. It's perfect the way it is. But... Add crouch walking. The the 3DS version has crouch watching, walking. That's just take that and put it in here. Um, but I'm excited. Nothing's holy, especially Snake Eater, and that's it for me. <laughs>